Hey everybody, it's Christopher here with 3DO Gaming, and today I got the Virtual Pocket 2 with me, and I'm in Classic Boy Emulator, and I'm going to be loading up Batman Beyond Return of the Joker for the N64. Let's go ahead and start this game, and find out how well it runs on here. Push start. All right, suit select for the Batman. Standard. Offensive. Defensive. Nimble. We're gonna go offensive. Stage one, Gotham Air and Space. Open the door. Okay. Will it open now? Please? Thank you. Ow. This is uh, a different style Batman game. And it's jumpy a little bit and there's some graphical distortion. I can only imagine that that's actually a flaw. That's not actually supposed to be that way. And he seems awfully jumpy. <laughs> See all this stretching? I don't know what's going on down there. Look at the floor. So, the game's playable, but it gets mildly irritating seeing the floor just jump around like that. But... This is Batman Beyond N64. It is playable, but graphically there are some issues. And I don't, I mean, to be honest, it's been years since I've played this game. So I honestly don't know if he's supposed to be running 
To me, he's running too fast. I mean, I may be wrong. But uh, let me go check, actually. Let me put you on pause real quick. And I'm going to see if it's actually supposed to be running like that. Okay, as I expected, it's not supposed to be running like that fast. Plus, when we were attacking, I wish I could go back and show you a guy. Um, you saw some distortion when I was there. Was the, basically making contact with the enemy. You saw squares just randomly show up. That's a flaw also. So... It is not supposed to be that way. So there are issues with this game. Now this is default settings. Um, but it's playable, but I there's better options out there. But that'll be all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.